Hello and welcome. This is Asad Yaqub. Today I'm going to tell you something about IELTS speaking. You might have read a lot about IELTS speaking on different books, audios and from different blogs on the internet. But I'm going to give you some direct tips on IELTS speaking. As you know, IELTS speaking has got three sections, named section 1, section 2 and section 3. I would like to give you some tips. How can you get a good band score on IELTS speaking? Let me tell you one thing, that in IELTS speaking and in IELTS listening, you can score maximum with a little extra effort. And this little extra effort is going to increase your overall IELTS band score. So let's start with IELTS speaking. In IELTS speaking subtest, you will have to face a one-on-one -on -one interview with the examiner. And the examiner is going to ask you different questions. First of all, we would talk about section 1. In section 1, there is going to be a question-answer session with the examiner. The examiner is going to ask you some questions about your hobbies, about your interests, about your free time activities, about your hometown, about uh, the city in which you live in, about education, about transport system and all that. So this, there are going to be different topics and the examiner is going to ask you the questions on various topics. Now let me tell you the key to success in IELTS speaking section 1 is you have to imagine or assume that at the end of every question there is a why. For example, if they ask you a question, uh, why do you like your hometown? Now you have to give yourself a message and why. So to you the question would be why do you like your hometown and why? You need to elaborate the things. You need to go into the details. Now here I would like to give you one warning. When you're going to go into the details of the things, do not go into the unnecessary, extraordinary details of the things because you have to stay to the point. Your answer should be to the point and then you can add more things. For instance, in IELTS, if they ask you a question, do you like watching TV? And your answer is, uh, yes I do. This way you're not going to get any good band score. All you need to do, you need to answer this question into detail. For example, do you like watching TV? Uh, yes, well of course, I do like watching TV and in my free time I always watch TV. As I'm a sports lover, so I watch sports channels and my favorite sports channel is 10 Sports. I watch TV in the evenings, but on Sunday I watch TV throughout the day. Have you noticed now, what am I doing? I'm answering the question in full. So in section 1, where they're going to ask you different questions about your interest, you have to extend your talk. But remember, it should not be too long talk. So the examiner starts just waiting for the next question to be asked. It should go on around 40 seconds and uh, all that. Now, after this section 1, Let's move on to IELTS speaking section 2, which is called mini presentation. In this section, examiner is going to give you a topic that will be written on the cue card and then the examiner will give you a piece of paper and of course a pencil. And then you will be given one minute time to read the topic and to jot down the notes and then after one minute time you will have to speak on that topic from one to two minutes. Now here I would like to give you some tips. First of all, you have to spend that one minute time very wisely, which is given to read the topic and to jot down the notes. Remember, in one minute time, you cannot write more than three, four sentences. So, if you're going to speak those three, four sentences, that is not enough to speak for at least one minute. That is the presentation time. Now, what should be the strategy? First of all, as you read the questions, you have to make up your mind and select the objects that is going to come in your answer. For example, if there is a question, describe your favorite book. 
Now, as you read, describe your favorite book. Do not go on until or unless you decide that my favorite book is this. Okay, on the other hand, then you go on and you read, okay, who wrote that book? Why do you particularly like this book? What is so special? And what did you learn from that book? Now you can go on and as you read all these questions, what you have to do, you will have to just assume that this is what going to be my answer. Now I would like to give you some tips how to jot down the notes in one minute time. In order to jot down the notes, read the main topic in section 2, I'll speaking, and then write it down. For example, favorite book, write down the title of your favorite book. Then go on and write down the other details. And afterwards, when time will be given to you, for instance, now the examiner says, you now have one to two minutes to speak on this topic. Here, at this point, what you need to do, now you can put the the notes you jotted down in front of you and the topic they gave you you can put that in front of you and now looking at these two things and of course mainly looking at the examiner you have to start your talk and in your one to two minutes talk you must cover all the points given over there uh, i've got a list of topics and a list of questions for section one of course, a list of topics for section 2 and if you want them, you can just send me an email and I will reply that with all these notes. Let's move on to IELTS speaking section 3. Section 3 is called discussion. Now, here at this stage, what the examiner is going to do, he's going to ask you the follow-up questions from the topic of section 2. For instance, if the topic in section 2 was about your favorite book, in section 3, examiner is going to ask you more questions about the reading habits, different authors, and all that. Here, the tips I'm going to give you. First of all, section 3 is called discussion. So you have to keep in your mind that you need to answer the questions in full. I think uh, your answer should be of 30, 40 seconds because at this stage the examiner is going to ask you 4 to 5 questions. Secondly, as you are answering the question, try to use your opinion, your ideas, your knowledge because in IELTS speaking, they are not going to check uh, what is the uh, what is the extent of your knowledge how much do you know they are just going to see how this candidate caters the question and tries to answer in section 3 they're going to ask you for comparisons they're going to ask you for contrast at the same time the examiner is going to take the topic from present to past and of course from past to future so you should be able to handle all these questions and answer them very confidently let me tell you again in IELTS speaking, there is no question where you say, oh, well, I'm afraid I don't have any general knowledge about this topic. It's not the general knowledge. It's actually the common sense and the common knowledge you have. And then all you need to do, you need to explain that. Understand the question very well. If you do not understand the question well, ask the examiner to tell you uh, the question again and the examiner is going to ask you the question again and then you can answer and you will not be penalized for that. Be confident, understand the questions.